Welcome back to Deadwood Casting and Turning, and today we're going to be using this blank. Now this is the third and final blank um, from the piece of log that I made the Emerald Flame Bowl with and the bowl that I called Faith with. Um, so we're going to turn this final piece, see what it turns out to be. Now I did this, you'll see this purple section on the top. That was basically just a leveling pour. I had some leftover so to level off the top to give us a good starting place. I just did a leveling pour. So let's get this mounted up on the worm screw and get it on the lathe and see what happens. Let's get to turning. All right, we got it mounted up on our worm screw. We're not gonna use the speed reducer on this one because I don't think that it's needed. So we're gonna start off at about 700 RPMs and get it trued up and go from there. All right, so much for plan A. The worm screw's not holding, so I'll put it on a face uh, A, I'll screw it to a face plate. All right, plan B. We have it mounted to a screw down face plate and then mounted to our headstock. Um, so that should stabilize it a lot better. All right, let's get this trued up and see what happens. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of chip out now this blank is old, like extremely old, almost a year, year and a half old. This is one of the first ones I ever did, I ever cast. So, um, yeah, we're going to finish roughing it out, smooth it out, and go from there. If it'll ever quit chipping, it's going to have a beautiful flame pattern. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna wipe this down with some denatured alcohol. I've got it sanded up at 3000. I'm gonna wipe it down with some denatured alcohol and then I'm gonna start the rest of the finishing process. Now that that's dried, I'm going to use some deaf clear lacquer to begin with and put a couple coats of that on. All right, we got our three coats of spray on lacquer on here. And now we're fixing to hit it with some Scotch Brite 
to take all the little nubbies off and the rough spots off in the lacquer. And then we will be finishing it up with our Brad's sanding paste and tongue wax finish. But since we are sanding on um, since we are sanding on resin and everything and a lacquer finish, we will be putting our dust mask on. the rest of our finish on we have our brad sanding paste which we're going to start with and then we're going to finish up with our brad's tongue wax finish The sand and paste is going to do is um basically it's going to take all the super fine scratches out of here and get it ready for our tongue wax finish which basically it's you know the final step in making this shiny You guys can see this or not but um this piece has got some beautiful spalting in it um right here I mean this piece is probably about a year and a half old since I actually cast it so it's real hard and dense but it has some beautiful you know characteristics to this wood um, and it's in grain pecan so it's it's a little rough turning it, so, but I'm hoping that that I don't lose all of this this figuring in here. All right, so we've got our bowl hollowed out and smoothed out during this process. Um, I got a little too close to the, the the lid, the top part right here on the inside, and I started coming through to the outside, and I came through the resin some. So there's some little holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, wasn't real sure about this collar anyway with the two tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to part it off right here, and uh, we'll put the top to the side, and we'll figure something out to do okay. with, with the rim later. Maybe put it in a scrap bowl, and, and then when the scrap bowl is full of wood, we'll fill it full of resin and see what we make but right now I'm gonna part that off and uh, then we can get to sanding and finishing the inside of the bowl so that was easier than I thought it was gonna be so there's our 
<clears throat> our uh, collar, so to speak. And I really, I kind of like that. Um, but I am going to touch up this edge right here, smooth it out a little bit because it is kind of sharp and thin in some places because of how far I went through. So I'm going to take care of that. can see the inside of the bowl and how pretty it is um, it's just gorgeous there's a couple tool marks that I'm gonna take out real quick before I try and take out real quick before I start sanding um, so let's go ahead and do that sandy now we're going to clean all the sawdust off of here with some denatured alcohol and then we'll let that dry there we go that's drying up pretty good once that dries out, we will put our spray lacquer on it, just like we did with the outside. We're going to use this today to spray our inside with. put a total of three coats on this um, and then we'll hit it with the scotch bright and then we'll finish it off with um, of course with Brad's sanding paste and tongue wax finish so I'll bring you back when it's time to do that all right welcome back we have three coats of our spray on lacquer on it and now we're fixing to hit it with our scotch bright to take all the nubbies off and then we're going to use our brad sanding paste and brad's tongue wax finish to uh, shine it up and get it finished out so let's get it going
so here we go this is um the last blank from the uh blank that the emerald flame bowl came from this is the third one um it's just a little dish i was kind of curious to see what i could make out of it didn't really have a design for this one wound up losing the collar because i got too thin up here and come through so i don't know if y'all can see that real well i'll come a little bit closer so y'all can see it i want y'all to be able to see all the the details and the the figuring so and there's the inside it's got some pretty good spalting on it so And then, of course, on the back, we have my logo. Didn't burn real well, but I think that was operator error instead of, you know, materials or equipment. So we got that done. Right here, I had a big old catch and gouge that I had to fix. And basically, I just fixed it with, um, with some uh, resin, sawdust resin, shavings, and um, some CA glue. And that, that went out smooth so yep so this is the last one um i think it turned out really well so tell me what you thought likes concerns dislikes let me know in the comments below and until next time keep on turning